PS5 Portal Remote Player has been selling like hotcakes. It's sold out everywhere. It's $200, but you might have to shell out even more on eBay or something. Then you have to drop another $200 on Sony's proprietary earbuds because Bluetooth just doesn't work with that thing. On top of that, the Portal is quite bulky. Carrying an extra device around isn't the best. Safe to say that you're really only going to be using it inside of your house. A better solution for PS5 Remote Play? Gamester's new G8 mobile gaming controller. Pair this with your Android phone or iPhone 15 and you will have a lot better experience. Without all the limitations on wireless audio and the use of public or mobile data. This is the box it comes in. All the big features listed here. Now let's go ahead and open this up. It's really packaged like a premium product. This box has all the manuals. Here we got some extra joysticks. They're all nicely protected with the packaging. And here is the GameSir G8 controller. I love the form factor and grip on this controller and just compatibility wise, it's gonna fit the smallest phones to the largest phones. The features on this one is far better than any other controller on the market. The form factor, the grip, the button layout, it feels like you're using an actual Xbox controller. It's really the best. And of course, then there's there's a swappable joysticks. It's really the first time I've seen that customization on this type of controller. The joysticks are easy to swap out take off the cover plate and then easily remove and replace the joystick to what you want. The joystick by the way is Hall Effect meaning you don't have to worry about stick drift and the fact that that cover comes off kind of leaves room for customizing this controller. You can probably remove that cover I mean paint it with something if you want for yourself and then put the cover back on. Look at all the grip on the back of this and also on the trigger buttons. There's of course the customizable back buttons as well. These also let you do on the fly mapping without needing any software. I also like the USB-C port here for charging while you play and there is a 3.5 millimeter audio jack here for a wired audio connection as well. Now this thing's gonna draw power from your phone so you don't have to worry about charging an extra device now. This thing does work with the new iPhone 15 with that USB-C and of course it's gonna work with all the Android phones. I have the iPhone 15 Pro Max here and it easily fits in this controller. Now when I first turn the controller on the light indicator here is green. This is basically Android mode. To use the controller with my iPhone I hold down these two buttons here and switch to PS mode which does support iPhone 15 as well as PlayStation 5 remote play. Running PS5 remote play on this setup is the real deal. The controller works perfectly. Now even for Android users keep in mind you also need to be in this PS mode for PS5 remote play as well. Now for those of you thinking, hey, is this going to work as well as the PS Portal? I mean, yes, it does. There's literally no difference in terms of the performance and the latency. There's literally zero difference between the PlayStation Portal and your phone. With this controller, you're not really going out and buying a totally new device. You can just use your existing phone and pretty much everyone has a phone these days. Now here, we're not just limited to PS5 remote play. You can also, of course, play Xbox cloud gaming. And of course, you can play native games on your iPhone phone as well. I'm running Resident Evil Village on this iPhone 15 Pro Max here and yeah this is native gameplay. The controller with all of these different apps and games works perfectly. All the buttons work. Even the home button does exactly what it's supposed to do. Now even for games that don't support controller controls you can still use this. You essentially switch to the G touch mode. The indicator here is gonna turn blue. And then you do need to download the GameStar app to remap the on-screen touch controls to the actual controller. So games like PUBG Mobile, I mean, sure, you can play those using this controller. And that's really what you need to know about the GameStar G8. Check out links in the description if you want to get one. For the rest of the video, I have some more gameplay so you get to see this controller in action.
Hey, what are you doing here? Hello. <clears throat> One more. 